Hey friends, this short video will give you a simple technique you can use to create greater joy, happiness, and fulfillment for yourself and also for your loved ones and co-workers even, because you will have a more positive and creative mindset or attitude because of this. So have you ever noticed how habitual we are, human beings? So isn't it true? that you get up at pretty much the same time and even in the same side of the, on the same side of the bed, I should say, each day. And you wash, shower, and shave in pretty much the same order with the same hands and in the same way for the same amount of time. So you spend most of your free time doing not only the exact same things, but again, you do them in the same way, don't you? And of course, for most of us, our work can be even more repetitive. Well, perhaps even worse, we all think the same thoughts, we repeat the same habitual mental and emotional states and feelings day after day after day with little variation. Well, a couple of days ago, I was taking a walk in the morning with my fiance. And as we walked down the main boulevard in our community, I looked up and over to my left, lo and behold, there was this huge hill probably about, I guess, about 500 feet high, maybe, and it was a few hundred yards away from me. We're, we lived near the base, or at the base, really, the Santa Monica Mountains. So just a couple of blocks from my home is this big hill. Now, I've seen this hill literally thousands of times. I'll circle back to this hill in a moment. Uh, but first, though, please like, share, and comment on the video. Okay, now I want to ask you a question. Do you remember when you were five years old. Remember how that felt? Maybe seven years old? Remember how excited you'd get about the silliest little things. And things that seem silly to an adult anyway, but really magical to a five-year-old. Remember that? So let me ask you, what were you passionate about as a kid? What sent your imagination, your excited sense of wonder and creative personal power soaring with wondrous stories and action of an unlimited personal power and creative adventure? Here's the really important question. What if the adult you that you are now were to more often access and inhabit that innocent state of wonder and awe the passionate use of your imagination and of potential and creativity. Don't you perhaps think that inhabiting the young child in you might be a healthier, happier, more creative and productive state? Especially as compared to our adult, serious, stressed and jaded states? So back to my morning walk story. So I saw this hill not as a busy, stressed, active adult on a mission I actually saw that hill as the five-year-old that still lives in all of us. These five-year-olds are in all of us. They're just buried under a lot of life experience, stress, and adult crap. Excuse my language. So because I saw this hill, I could feel it pull magically at the five-year-old in my heart, pulling me to climb to the top, run and roll and scream down, down it to the bottom, and then get up and get up to the top and do it again and again and again. Now, let me be clear. I am in no way suggesting that either you or I should ever risk life or limb doing something like this. And in fact, I did not do that on the morning for a number of reasons, not the least of being which my body can no longer take the abuse I dealt it as a kid, as a teenager, and even as a 20-somethinger. So what if, though, you and I made a ritual, a habit, out of accessing the small child in us and purposefully Look for the wonder, the magic, the awe, the adventure in life's small moments, in our relationships, and in the objects, the things around us. So not only will this create more positivity, more joy, happiness, and fulfillment in the moment within us, it also sets a new neural pattern in our brains, a pattern that if repeated often enough, with enough emotion and intention, will eventually become an unconscious mental and emotional pattern. And do you think that if we were to all be more actively seeking the wonder, the awe, the positivity, the adventure, the creativity in, within, and around us, that we might be healthier, happier, more productive and fulfilled? 
not to mention more creative and successful also in our professional lives as well as our personal lives. So I've made a new mandate to myself. Whenever we go on our walks, I can no longer just walk. I absolutely must complete two tasks during each walk. Number one, I must actively search for and find one or more, one or more things that would have sent my adrenaline, my testosterone, and my dopamine screaming with excited imagination and vigorous physical play when I was five years old. And I must imagine the five-year-old me actively playing with that thing vividly, intensely, actively seeing, hearing, and feeling myself as a rapt five-year-old passionately playing with that thing. And I must do this for one to two minutes as I walk. I must intensely see, hear, and feel what it's like to be five again and intensely enjoying and celebrating the potential in this object and in creating a world around that object between me and it. Now, I took a few pictures with my smartphone during that walk, or during a walk, I should say, yesterday, and I'm going to share them with you on this video. Then my new mandate has a, a second part to it. After I find something to imagine, celebrate, and play with in my imagination, I must then find something else in my environment for which the adult me is profoundly grateful. Find the beauty, the potential adventure, a learning experience, or the utility, the practicality of something for which I'm deeply grateful. And then again, vividly see here and feel my gratitude, my awe, my wonder in, in and for that thing for one to two minutes. It's that simple. A new ritual, that when including the walking, is powerfully beneficial to our mind, body, and spirit as it lights up those parts of our brains responsible for creativity, happiness, and fulfillment. And it begins to train your mind to actively look for expect, find, and celebrate the wonders and simple joys in your life. And that's it. I just wanted to share that, and I hope you'll either adopt this ritual or you'll come up with your own ritual. And in fact, please come up with or share a current ritual you use, one of your own, in the comments section just below this video. Happy New Year. Live big and prosper with inner peace personal power and purpose, my friends.